morning everybody welcome back to our channel it's Adam and Mela it's been a long time since we last recorded and um, posted anything so um, we have decided that we're gonna start recording again and start updating our channel and bring you guys a bunch more stuff did we decide if we're gonna eat today no do you want to go eat lunch with me before we go to work? No. <laughs> no, I gotta go to work. <laughs> so anyways, it's been a while. Uh, kind of an update on what's going on. So after all the IVF stuff, we kind of, like I said before, we just kind of gave up on all that because the shots were too much and too much stress and all that stuff. But we did say that we would keep trying. So we're supposed to go into an appointment today to kind of uh, go along with that continued trying for having a baby. I didn't know if you wanted to give them any details, but what do you think? <laughs> well, we're going for my first prenatal appointment. Yes. Prenatal appointment could be many things though. We're trying to get pregnant. Um, they're gonna give us nutritional advice. So, no, <laughs> we're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> so it's weird. After all of the IVF stuff, we didn't get pregnant. And then me and her just said, you know what? We're just not going to stress about it, right? Yes. And, you know, um, taking vitamins <laughs> <laughs> helped out a lot. Yeah, well, you know, al along with other things, I think less stress, less thinking about all the shots and all that stuff, we kind of just um, decided that we were just going to continue to keep trying, but without the assistance of doctors, obviously, and then um, she ended up being late, which I knew she was late, because I know her days, like, off the top of my head, I just didn't want to say anything. Of course, what do you mean? <laughs> so I knew she was late, but I didn't, you know, obviously I don't want to get my hopes up. So then one morning she tells me I'm late and I was like, yeah, I, I know. But then, you know, it's funny because usually she's spot on. So if she's on her cycle, usually within a day or two, she's already spotting and boom, full blown. But then this time she was late, like what, it was like six days? No, seven. Oh, seven days, a whole week. So then she's like, oh, should I test? I was like, no, I don't test. Let's wait another week or two. <laughs> well, knowing her being so impatient, she went and got a test on her lunch period. And I got a happy Father's Day text. I was kind of in the dark. I was like, what the hell? Father's Day's passed already. And then she sent me a picture of the pregnancy text. So, we are pregnant, um, we have three tests to prove it, <laughs> right? So that day, um, I couldn't believe it, I was in shock, so on my way home I went and bought more tests, I had her tests again when I got home, and then like a week later, maybe even two weeks later, she tests again without even telling me, just to make oh, sure. there was two, oh, there was two, um, what do you call this, sticks in the box. Right, you know, right. We had an extra. Yeah. Yeah, so. Might as well just take another one. <laughs> yep, so today's appointment is actually uh, a milestone for us because uh, today is nine weeks. Nine weeks. Nine weeks. So we're going to go in and see if we can um, check in on our little olive that's going on in there. Yeah, we have an ultrasound today. Yeah. Yeah, based on nine weeks, should be about an inch. Um, we should be able to hear the heartbeat, hopefully today. They say sometimes you can't, depending on where the fetus is, but um, hopefully we can. And then um, maybe we'll hear multiple heartbeats. Oh my gosh. <laughs> be kind of cool to get in there and hear. <laughs> 100 heartbeats going at one time. So we're on our way, um, we're gonna go to our appointment real quick. I'll get some video of us getting in there. Um, hopefully I'll get a good shot of the ultrasound. And then, uh, 
Yeah, we'll probably have to get consent again. I don't know what doctors we're going to be dealing with this time. I know that Dr. Lee was really cool. Yeah, I know. Him and his staff members. Hi, Dr. Lee. Hi, staff members. <laughs> I know. We're going to forward you guys this video so you guys can see our progress. Maybe we'll drop in on them from time to time. Maybe we can get an appointment with Sharma, too. Because Sharma was our other uh, OBGYN over on at the other place, but uh, I'm sure they're going to be excited to find out that we conceive naturally. Yeah. Right. So, um, for all of those that kind of are we're going through what we're going through, keep trying because look at what happens when you least expect it. It just happens, right, babe? All right, guys, we're going to get to our appointment, and then we will get back to you. Peace. Peace. <laughs> we're at our appointment. Walking into the building. Hopefully, we get some good news today. Yeah. So, there's the entrance right there. That's going to make our day. She's going to press the button, and the door's mysteriously open for us. Yes. So we're making our way down the hallway. Do you know where we're supposed to go? We're gonna go upstairs, second floor. And then I think we're gonna go to- Third floor. Oh, third floor. And then we're gonna go, our appointment's at 8.45. 8.45. So let me get up there. I'll try and get us consent so that way we can take some recording and then we'll go from there. What's up, everyone? So we're back in the room again. We've got our little machine going on over there. Some familiar posters that you guys might have seen in the last ones. Mama's sitting over here on the chair. So we're gonna wait for the doctor to come in real quick. And then um, we'll get consent from her. And then we'll probably wait for a little while and get everything set up and then start um, a small recording and then kind of go from there, so. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Say bye. So it looks like you're more like seven weeks in one day. Okay. okay. So not as far along, and that could be because of all the infertility stuff that you were doing. Oh, okay. So look, see, there's a heartbeat. Oh, it looks great. That's cool. I know. Okay, so this is the yolk sac. It's like an early placenta. Birthdays to 
start the year off every year. Yeah. <laughs> January, February, March, and April. So uh, we are on our way to work now. Sorry we can't stop and get a bite to eat somewhere. Uh, but we will try to keep the videos coming now that things are rolling again. And uh, 